Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this episode of Animal Wonders. Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Wonders. I'm Jessie and today is the first really hot day of late spring in Montana and we have some awesome new growth to a bunch of the trees. We got a wonderful donation from someone of this cottonwood and I thought Huckleberry would be super excited to get some fresh new brows, which is what you call this. So uh, let's go ahead and give it to him. Come on out! Here you go! <laughs> While Cottonwood isn't Huckleberry's first choice, his favorite tree is Aspen, followed closely by Willow, it is a common species eaten by beavers in the wild. Let's enjoy watching Huckleberry have a bit of an adventure while we talk about how beavers and trees are such a great match. What do you think, buddy? Beavers aren't always seen as the best animals to have living in an area due to their natural behavior of chewing down trees. Huckleberry decided that dandelions were more tasty than the cottonwood. Beavers tend to eat plants that grow close to water or riparian areas, which make for easy meals close to home. But they can make a big impact on the vegetation and change the way the area looks. And some people think that makes them a nuisance. But there is quite a bit of research being done on how beavers improve the health of riparian areas. They don't decimate plants and leave a place poorer, but actually stimulate growth. And over the course of the seasons and several years, they leave the ecosystem richer for being part of it. Oh my goodness, I just trimmed the lawn and um, I guess that's super desirable. Look at that! Most of the tree species that beavers eat are fast growing and can make a comeback after the hungry beaver family chews them down. Aspen tends to be a favorite, and some may even travel more than 200 meters to seek them out. However, most foraging happens within 30 meters of the water. Interestingly, aspen and willow that are disturbed by beaver actively produce more growth than those left unchewed. Willows produce new growth from the stump and can grow new shoots a meter long after just one growing season, and over two and a half meters after two years. Within just two years of beavers foraging on the willow, the trees have regained significant biomass with new growth. An aspen reacts similarly, though instead of growing up from the stump or cut branches, new trees grow up through the root system. Both willow and aspen have more growth when being actively foraged by beavers than undisturbed trees or those that have been untouched for more than three years. And the new shoots that grow up are unappealing to beavers due to naturally occurring chemicals that smell and taste bad. So beavers are encouraged to move on and seek food somewhere else, while the trees have a chance to regrow, creating a system where they don't overgraze an area. Instead, beavers are constantly stimulating the trees to grow, and the trees can continually feed the beaver family, which is just a great system for all involved. As I watched Huckleberry enjoying his tree branches, I was inspired to create some art that shows the bond between beavers and their trees. I found this class on Skillshare that gave a sweet tutorial on how to draw different trees. It's called How to Draw Three Types of Trees by Suzanne Carilla. 
I chose the birch tree since that's another species that beavers tend to favor. Suzanne made it easy for me to create a satisfying tree, and then I added in Huckleberry, of course. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Skillshare is a great place to find classes that will match your goals and interests, like I did with Huckleberry and his tree. It's nice to be able to make real growth with these short classes that will easily fit into your day. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box or our code Animal Wonders Montana will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning more about how awesome beavers are. And if you'd like to keep learning about animals, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you soon.